you may just keep feeling a year after year like you're not growing like you're not evolving you're going to take patience and i struggle with patience i struggle hello i'm tara welcome to my channel thank you so much for choosing to watch my video today and thank you for being here so as you can see by the title of today's video um this is probably in a sea amongst a lot of similarly titled videos where it's kind of doing a year in review before setting my goals for 2023 um and i'm doing it as a video this year because one um one of my goals is to actually actually do the youtube thing properly I said for the first time in my life i actually don't really have much of an excuse not to do it because um yeah i'm fully self-employed now so yeah that's one of my goals so that's why i actually decided to do to do it this way this year for the first time and kind of do this year of review to close out 2022 and yeah set my theme for 2023 um yeah so as you can see i've not said resolution i was gonna say revelation <laughs> i've not said resolution or anything like that oh sorry before i even go into this any further i'm currently not very well you can probably hear it in my voice i um country check i am in thailand in bangkok why did i say that so weirdly in bangkok <laughs> precisely um and yeah i've been here for just over a week now although it feels like longer for some reason but yeah I've, I've been here for just over a week in this airbnb for just one night um yeah so that's where i am in the world um yeah so to go back into this video it's actually ironic that I now have to do a country check. A good irony, by the way. I have to do a country check because one of my themes last year, which I should probably... Let's just start here, even though this video is already like two minutes long. But let's just start here. My theme for last year, I had two, but they were pretty similar. Um, it was Surrender and effortless um surrender is exactly as it sounds i kind of made the pact with myself to just honestly for the first time in my life genuinely trust the process and just surrender to whatever um my year was going to bring whatever that was whatever was going to get thrown in at me i just kind of wanted to to just be in a state of surrender and good gosh if a year ever needed that it was this year 2022 has honestly been one of my most transformative but also difficult years i've been knocked back down to almost the start this year um but the difference was mentally you know spiritually and all of that stuff i was in a much better position although i did have a wobble in the middle because quite a lot of things happened all at the same time like in this in a matter of like weeks apart from each other and it was just a lot for me to handle um and i was taken out of my comfort zone um whilst all of the things were happening so yeah it really put me in a very weird position however i kept remembering my theme for the year and honestly i was tested i was tested this year i honestly could have given up there's there's a lot of decisions i could have made this year that would have meant i wouldn't be sitting here in bangkok i wouldn't be even recording this video i wouldn't be starting the business I'm, I'm now starting in south africa and um all of the other digital ones it's just yeah it's it's a lot of things that wouldn't have happened if i had made the opposite 
decisions, which sounds like, well, duh, that's how decisions make. If you make one decision or if you make the opposite one, then the opposite thing will happen. Um, but it's just more in the sense of, I genuinely feel like if I hadn't had my themes and didn't keep drumming them into myself this year, I could have honestly collapsed. So it's almost as if the universe knew before I knew that I was going to need this theme because I just had to keep trusting everything. Um, and one of the things that happened was actually irreversibly bad. Uh, and um, yeah, one of them was irreversibly so because it was a death. So um, yeah, I don't know why I'm beating around the bush. I don't know what videos you guys have seen so far. But yeah, my, my dad unfortunately passed away this year at the same time that um, something else dramatic had also happened and I was just getting to grips with that well I say just getting to grips was literally like a week later but um yeah just getting my head around that and then had to deal with this other new thing but um yeah like I said if I didn't have my own self like my own voice literally reminding me constantly of the theme that I had. I think I genuinely would have struggled. Um, I mean, I did struggle. It's, I just mean that I wouldn't have made the decisions that I made in the way that I made them if I didn't have this full sense of trust. Um, really, yeah, I, that, that's 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 the bottom line is just if I didn't have this full sense of trust just in the process in the universe in in myself also then I wouldn't have done it um so this year just to wrap up because I don't want to make this video too long I'm actually just excited to say my themes for 2023 um yeah but I don't want to make this too long so my themes like I said were that surrender and were the effortless. The effortless part was um, to do with constantly feeling like I'm fighting things. I'm fighting this so this can happen. I'm fighting for that. I'm da 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 da. And I just wanted to have a year of just, you know what? Because I'm surrendering, I'm also relinquishing a lot of um, stressful effort, I think is probably the best way to put it stressful effort in the sense that when you almost feel like you're fighting against something for something to work when something just doesn't feel like it's coming to you naturally it's like a struggle for you to do it or a struggle for you to like um pro like whatever the thing may be um it's there's just this struggle that one feels when they're when they're doing it and i didn't want that i I literally was like, I don't want to be partaking in anything that does that, which is ironic because this is also the year I decided to become an entrepreneur. So not only am I starting a physical business, um, the glamping business uh, in South Africa, but I, um, I've got my digital businesses too, which by the way, this video was sponsored by me. And I will have my links in the bottom. I've got my Etsy stores. Um, yeah, and like I said, my, my YouTube channels as well, which I will also link in the um, in the description. So you can see all the channels I have, all the, all the channels I'm attempting to start and um, all my, my digital stores that I have up and running so far. Um, but yeah, so, so, so that was my year and i was saying it's ironic that this is the year that i started all this but every business endeavor i've been doing every um everything i've been doing i've just kind of been following an instinct again it's with the surrender thing that's why i wanted to do the two together the effortless and the surrender because i kind of feel like if you're not going to be exerting all of this extra effort into stuff um then you kind of need something to be guiding you so I've just been following my instinct. That's where the effortless part comes in. But of course, we know it takes a lot of work to start any businesses whatsoever. And that hasn't died down at all. In fact, it's for me, it's getting even more. Um, I don't know what the word is for me to get it all out. Um, I 
I really am trying to make these things work like deeply I'm trying to make these things work so um, that's where I'm at currently like I said please do support if you can um, whether that's just by subscribing uh, liking the videos because that obviously goes a long way um, or if it's buying one of my digital products or if it's um, you know buying one of my physical products that aren't digital like I said I've got different stores for different things but yeah so that those were my themes for the year and that's kind of where it's led me um, I don't want to dwell too much on the negative but it was a very tough year um, that I kind of feel like I'm coming out stronger I'm coming out a different person once again um, I've gained a lot um, yeah yeah that's where I'm at with that one so now for my themes for 2023 yeah okay I'm excited to just start a new year I'm scared shitless I feel like I'm always scared when a new year starts but it's always interesting by the time I get to the end of that year just how much I accomplish when I do these types of checks and I and I'm not just saying me by the way I feel like you watching this like a bunch of people we don't quite realize how much um we move when we don't do the reviews we we could feel like oh i started this year the same i'm ending it the same yeah i'm stagnant i'm whatever but so much happens so much changes you grow a lot and if you don't take the time to take stock um off what what's you know what you've achieved what you've learned what you've let go what you've picked up like if you don't actually take stock to to review you may just keep feeling it year after year like you're not growing like you're not evolving when i guarantee that you probably are obviously i don't know who's watching this video but i would say 99 percent of people you've probably you've probably like grown more than you realize um but anyway my theme for 2023 is simply growth and trusting the process. So, well, I should probably say trusting the process and growth. Um, I, as, as I said, I try not to do resolutions. I try just to do themes so I can um, encompass them into everything that I do, um, into all the decisions that I make, into how I make the decisions that I make. Um, throughout the year so yeah my theme for this year is um, trusting the process and growth I did a lot of building in 2022 I mean I did a lot of destroying not I but a lot of destroying happened in 2022 and um, yeah a lot of just surrendering and just being taken where I needed to be taken happened in 2022 and now I'm ready for 2023 to start building that stuff up that got broken down and to trust the process because I think trusting the process is probably one of the hardest things that anybody ever has to do. Surrendering and trusting the process, honestly, um, are tough as hell, are really, really, really tough as hell because... Things don't always look like how you think how you think things will look. Things don't always happen in a way that you envisioned happening in, in, in that way. I don't know if that was a grammatically correct sentence, but you get what I mean. Things don't tend to look black and white how we expect them to look. So it can be actually hard sometimes when you are embarking on something new and something so big, something so life-changing um well with the potential of being life-changing i should say it can be so hard to to trust the process when things don't look how you wanted them to look or things aren't moving as quickly as you want want them to move and all the things i've decided to embark on are things that are going to take patience and i struggle with patience i struggle I'm not even going to sit here and pretend I struggle with patience. It's one of the reasons I, you know, I don't want to have children because I don't think it would be fair for me to bring 
children into a world and I know I do not have enough patience for them. Um, I'm always kind of used to having this level of control, which I realize is false because nobody actually has the level of control that they think they have in the things that they think they have. Well, we actually have control in other areas that we one we don't really want to have control because we don't want to take too much responsibility for those areas but two it's like no i don't want control of this i want control of this but that's not how the world works but i tend to be one of those people that um has their stuff together has their shit together but i'm also struggling with um adhd um uh, and I was going to say autism. I don't really think I struggle with autism. I mean, I've got little OCDs here and there that do make me struggle a little bit. But it's mainly the ADHD that is really taking me somewhere else. <laughs> Some days I can, I literally can't work at all. Like, I will have a day that I, I can't. Like, I, I can try as much as I want to try. I can be like, okay, I'm going to have coffee in this combination. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, maybe if I... Da, da, and it just... It's like, no, the system says no. Um, and in those days, I will convince myself that every dream that I have is never going to come true. Um, all these things I want to do are just never going to happen. I truly convince myself of these things. Um, and I'm really... That's a struggle. That That is a struggle. It, it also goes to the point where I can't even make decisions sometimes. Like, as simple as, what am I going to eat? As simple as, what am I going to... Yeah, literally, what am I going to eat for dinner? I went two days without eating one time and just having, like, the snacks that were already around me because I was struggling to decide what to eat. Um, I don't know why I've gotten into this rant. But yeah, I think the moral of, of the story is just that trust in the process can honestly be one of the hardest things because you can have every plan in the world, um, every schedule in the world even, and sometimes your brain is just like, no. <laughs> and yeah, in those moments, you literally convince yourself that you're going to be a failure. You're never going to do anything ever again. You're never going to work. But it's not true. And I'm also making this to remind myself, but also to remind whoever's watching this that maybe struggles with that, because I know there is millions of us out there. But anyway, like I said, I want to keep this video short. I want to record quite a few videos today while I've got my janky setup going because I forgot my freaking tripod stand. I got my light, but forgot the stand, and I'm so annoyed. I've had to, like, create this. That's why the angle is weird. I'm kind of like... Yeah, it's it's just going to have to do for now. And I want to film as much as possible while this setup is still set up and I still can. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you join me in this year and also help to keep me accountable. It's also one of the reasons I've made this. So whatever time of year you're coming across this um, and you want to ask me the question in any comment in any of the videos that I will be posting consistently on this channel. I will. I will. That is one of the things I need to do. Um, so yeah, whenever you just see you have a little question or, or you want to be like, yo, where are you at with your theme for the year? Please ask me whenever you see this video so I can keep being held accountable and I can make sure I'm doing it. Um, even though I'm my own worst critic, so I will judge myself if I don't. But please do. Um, because this 2022 has been tough, but that theme has kept me going. And it's brought me to places I never thought I would be in, not physically as in the world, but like spiritually, mentally and like the things I'm doing. I just I never would have pictured this if we'd had this conversation this time last year. Never. Would, I never, 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 never would have pictured this um, and never would have thought it would be happening, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I please let me know your themes or your resolutions or whatever you call them in the comment section below i do actually want to start a discussion around this i'm always so curious to know what people have planned for the year um and i know i don't really have many subscribers so even if you're the one or two people that ends up watching this and you just want to share please can we have a small discussion in the comments please okay thank you um yeah i, I would really like to know what your themes are 
I could add another one, who knows? But yeah, enough rambling for me. Um, I should say goodbye, let you go. And yeah, I wish you an amazing 2023, full of love, full of joy, full of contentment, peace, abundance, um, full of growth even. I want you guys to learn lessons. It, it shouldn't just be smooth sailing all along. I mean, not that it ever will be, but full of growth and joy and love and peace and, and light and all of those things for you guys. And yeah, I hope you jo join me on my journey this year too. And um, I should set one goal before I go for the year. I want to get to at least, let's aim for 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year on this channel. Why not 2,000, you know? 2,000 subscribers, um, yeah, by the end of the year. So I have to hold myself accountable. But if you want to start helping with that, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my video today. Love and light. Bye.